to the Artist Detective, where we investigate the lives and art of the great artists. I am Rembrandt, your host. Yes, I am the Dutch master who loves painting, Bible scenes and portraits. I use lights and expressions. Today, let's examine the life of a renowned artist who lived from 1917 to 2009. He is an American. You have heard of America, haven't you? This is Andrew Wyeth, who is known for his modern realist paintings. Hello there. My name is Andrew Wyeth. I was born in 1917 in Pennsylvania, the youngest of five children. I was raised in a family dedicated to art. My father was a famous painter and illustrator of children's books. Perhaps you've read one of the books that N.C. Wyeth, my father, illustrated, such as N.C. Wyeth's Pilgrims, or Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson, or Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, or Robin Hood, which was one of my favorites that he illustrated. My father was also a painter and art teacher who taught me to draw and to paint, and I soon became a better artist than he. Have we talked about this before? Your father was a great illustrator, Andrew. You know, I, Norman Rockwell, consider myself an illustrator as I depict humorous scenes of everyday American life on the covers of magazines such as the Saturday Evening Post. My brothers and sisters became artists, engineers, and musicians. And a generation later, my son Jamie has become an important artist. I guess you could say that art runs in the family. Because of my delicate health as a child, I was homeschooled. My father was my only teacher and, of course, he gave me the only art lessons I ever had. I studied the Renaissance artists and American painters, and I learned to illustrate stories like my father did, but I did not enjoy this. I led a very family-focused, sheltered life, and I enjoyed reading Robert Frost's poetry and Henry David Thoreau. We also enjoyed nature. I am primarily a realist painter and I am sometimes referred to as the painter of the people due to my work's popularity with the American people. Yes, Andrew, you are very popular, but I, Georgia O'Keeffe, am also very famous for my large close-up paintings of flowers and my New Mexico landscapes. In my paintings, my favorite subjects are the land and people around me, both in my hometown of Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania, and at my summer house in Cushing, Maine. Many of my paintings are of simple scenes, like a view of a man's boots trotting the weeds, a lace curtain blowing in the breeze, an abandoned rowboat, or a road with a car and a farm in the distance. My paintings are very natural and detailed, often using watercolors, or tempera paint. I use a lot of browns, golds, or greens, and I use light and shadow to bring out my subjects. What can I really say? I paint my life. I do like how you paint what you know, Andrew. Scenes of the New England that we love. I, Grandma Moses, painted those too. I, Thomas Gainsborough, love landscapes. I painted landscapes in England in the 1700s. My most famous painting is called Christina's World. It shows a young woman, my neighbor, Christina Olson in Cushing, Maine, in a field looking toward her house. She was crippled and I saw her crawling across the field, so it inspired my painting. Good for you, painting outside in the natural light, like the Impressionists, and me, Claude Monet, you know, Andrew, though we were contemporaries, we went a very different direction with our art. I, Roy Lichtenstein, helped start the movement of pop art. Pop art looks out into the world. It doesn't look like a painting of something. 
it looks like the thing itself. Yes, I did not get into pop art or abstract expressionism. I stayed with realism. I painted what I wanted. Even so, in 2007, President George Bush awarded me with the National Medal of Arts, and I am one of the most popular American painters of the 20th century. You can see my art at most of the large art museums in the United States, such as the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., or the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, or the Brandywine River Museum in Chatsford, Pennsylvania, where you can visit my father's house and studio and my home and studio. Let's review about me. Repeat after me. Andrew Wyeth. Andrew Wyeth. 1917 to 2009. 1917 to 2009. Realistic painter of the land and people around me. Realistic painter of the land and people around me. Watercolors and tempera paint. Watercolors and tempera paint. One of the most famous American painters of the 20th century. One of the most famous American painters of the 20th century. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for joining us on The Artist Detective. We look forward to seeing you next time when we examine the lives and art of other great artists like me and Andrew Wyeth.